Heavenly Beloved, my loving greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is a special day. It is the first day of a new month. We have come to the last month of the year. When December started, the atmosphere of Christmas will also set in. It's the first day of December. What word does the Lord have for you in this new month? We are going to see that today. Isn't this place very beautiful? It is the biggest valley in South Asia. It is called Keti Valley and it is situated in Uti. It is a serene valley. If those who had visited Switzerland came here, they would say this is more beautiful than Swiss. It is such a beautiful place. God has given this place to us in our country, in our Tamil Nadu. Praise God for that. All right. What does the Lord promise us for this month? Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2 The Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in His wings. The Lord says the Son of Righteousness shall rise upon you. Nearly 400 years before the birth of Jesus Christ, there was a darkness prevailing among the people of God. The atmosphere was dark even among the children of Israel. There was no prophecy of God, neither was any word of God. Their lives were doomed with no hope. They did not know what was going to happen next. They were with many questions. A wonderful promise given to them was, The Son of Righteousness shall arise upon you. Was this prophetical word fulfilled? Yes, when Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, was born, all the darkness was wiped away and light arose. We see in Matthew 4, when the Lord Jesus was born in this world, those who were in darkness saw a great light. Earlier, humanity was perturbed by the darkness of sin, curse and many other works of the devil. They were caught in the trap of the devil. Will there be a dawn of goodness in our lives? Or should we have to live like this till the end? Will there not be a light in our lives? When they were longing like this, Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, was born. When darkness surrounds during night, we will confine ourselves inside our homes. We are scared to come out. But when the light comes after sunrise, we are filled with happiness. All our fears leave and we are able to do our work by moving freely. Light is like that. The Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of Righteousness. He is a wonderful God who gave light to this world. And He is the Lord who removes darkness from the heart of people and gives them light. What kind of darkness is in your life? Perhaps sin may be surrounding you and distorting your peace or the darkness of curse might be falling generation after generation and spoiling your life. The darkness of fear and the devil might be affecting and troubling you and you might be going through the valley of shadow of death. Are you troubled wondering what to do? Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, is going to arise in your life. If only you allow Him, He will arise in your life. If only He arises in your heart and life, all the darkness will be removed and you will have joy and happiness in your life. You are the one who need to allow Him. He is willing to arise in your life. He wants to give His light to your home, life and heart. But only when you allowed Him, he can arise in your life. So will you allow him? Jesus, come into my heart. Give me light, dear Lord. Please come into my heart and life. Will you invite him like that? Then the Lord will give you his light. Now we are going to pray. Before that, see here, it is the most famous mountain train in the world. It is going beautifully. Can you see that? It is a renowned train in the world. This railway line was laid during the regime of the British. Anyone will like to travel in this train, but traveling with Jesus Christ is much better than this. So, I hope you would be interested in traveling with Jesus Christ, which is much better than this. If he comes into your life, you can walk in his light. You can be transported from the life of darkness to a life of light. Now we are going 
to pray for that lord may jesus the son of righteousness arise in my life according to your promise i yield myself for that so will you pray dear father i look upon the face of jesus the son of righteousness please arise in my life as the sun remove all the darkness in my life let there be a light in my life i request you to arise in our homes our hearts and in our lives let us have that blessing father enlighten our lives according to your promise we pray in the name of lord and savior jesus christ dear father amen amen